Hi, my name is Scott Strohs, and this is MySQL Shorts. Before we talk about the process of importing JSON data, let's look at the data we were using for this demo. This is not an array of JSON objects. Instead, it is a list of JSON objects delimited by line breaks. This format is similar to how data looks when exported from other NoSQL databases. To get started, we need to connect to a database using MySQL Shell. In this demo, we are going to start MySQL Shell in SQL mode by using dash dash SQL when we execute MySQL SH. You can see that I'm connecting to a MySQL instance running on my local machine with a user named Scott. Lastly, we're going to connect directly to the schema named MySQL underscore shorts. For this demo, we need to create a table into which we will import our JSON. We create a table named car that has two columns. The first is ID, which is an auto incrementing primary key. The second, car underscore info, which uses the JSON data type. If you want to take a look at the table structure of our new table, run the command describe car. In the results, you can see information about the two columns that we created. To do our import, we need to use MySQL shell in JavaScript mode. We can switch to JavaScript mode by using the command backslash JS. Once in JavaScript mode, we need to make a call to util.json import. This method takes two arguments. The first is the path to the file that holds the data we want to import. The second is a JSON object that specifies the schema we want to use, the table where we want to import our data, and finally, the column in that table that will hold our JSON data. When we run this command, we will see information about our import, including the size of all the data that was imported, how many documents were imported, and lastly, how much time it took to import all the data. We can verify the import worked as we expected by querying the car table. We can do this while still in JavaScript mode by running the command backslash SQL select star from car limit one. Note I end the command with a backslash G to make the result easier to read in the console. Here we can see that the first row has had data added to the car info column. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to hit like and subscribe. Also, there'll be a link in the description for any code or files we used during this video.